the same question for you. You feel like, you know, Price was struggling there. Some very good at-bats against him. You feel like you had him on the ropes. You know, you're, you're, you hit the gap way from maybe being right back there. Yeah, I, you know, when they brought him in, we, um, you know, we know he's their guy, and he's what, had 16 saves, I think, going into the game, and had him on the ropes, and, uh, you know, that's what, that's what good guys do that, that have been in these situations before. They pitch their way out of it. Like you said, we had him on the rope. And I kept, you know, telling our guys, hey, you know, they, they went to him early. They went to him early, and it's hot out there. So even though after he got out of that one inning, I think we got one run out of it, um, we said, hey, you know, we got to stay with it because he's probably not gone three innings. Now, you guys know him better than I do, but they probably have got a phrase gone to him in the seventh very often. Um, but, uh, you know, he – Great, great pitchers and, and, and great ball clubs step up, and and uh, you know they've this this is a veteran club with a with a national championship under their belt, and they know how to win, and and uh, you know when it, it it seemed like once we got close and you know got within a couple runs, and then that that eighth inning was was huge, uh, or, or the ninth inning was huge for them to get those four runs and and kind of distance themselves from us, so. You know, we, we lost to a to a better ball club. You know, we, we battled and and uh, uh, they 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 were the better ball club uh, and uh, and they deserve to go on and play uh, play here next weekend. Pete, that uh, the delay yesterday. Did you think things maybe were slipping away from you guys in in the fifth last night? And then did you guys get a chance to regroup? Uh, yeah, obviously came out. Yeah, I was I was laying down right here last night when they finally came in and said, "Hey, it's over," and I was happy. I really yeah. was because, like you say, we were we were down four to one with Beery coming up, and we hadn't done much with him yet the, the, when, previously. And um, you know, I think it was a good you know a good change of pace for us. And then of course it we we were stretched real thin on the mound, and it gave us you know an, a, you know an extra evening or whatever you want a half day to 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 maybe get you know maybe get a few more innings out of those pitchers that couldn't have gone last night. So uh, I, I thought it was good. And then, of course, when he popped that ball up to Rickles, I felt really good about it, you know. But uh, anyway, it's, um, it's, I, I want to say to the group here, and I want to echo what my guy said, that um, this is a great, not just a, base, a great facility, but certainly a great uh, community that, that uh, certainly uh, rallies around um, you know the athletics department as a whole, but certainly baseball. And this was a great environment for our guys. I called Ray. I don't know if I told you this the other night, but we had a rain out. Um, well, we actually had a snow out. Maine couldn't get down and and play us uh, the day they were supposed to come in. So we played one a few one fewer game. And and I saw Ray had a rain out. And we we want to play good team. We want to make it up. And we were willing. I called Ray and and uh, said, Hey, listen, we'll come up if we can find a, a, a midweek. Uh, date that works for you. I will get on the bus and we'll come up and we'll play. And he said, "Gosh, I wish you'd call me yesterday." He just committed to Toman, and uh, and and uh, they, Liberty came in. So we, we we were trying to get up here early to play in this environment because we've heard so much about it, heard so much about the facility. But um, we've we've been fortunate enough to play in 17 regionals. I said the other night that that, that this is. Only one senior had only played in a regional because we we hadn't been the last three years, but we've been to 17, and and I'll tell you this is this this is by far it's head and shoulders above facilities, the way it's run, staff. It's you guys do a great job. And Ron and, and Mike back there ran a ran a great tournament for the for the NCAA as well. Pete talked about the effort of Boyd. Boyd, he gave you a chance to, to stay in until the ninth and. Just his overall performance this weekend, he pitched really well every time out. Yeah, he's he's been doing that. He did it the other night. He saw against uh, NC State, and, uh, and he's been doing it for us all year. And and you could tell, you know, we don't we don't play in, a, in, in many parks where the radar guns up there. But you saw how his velocity had dropped off because he was just tired. But he'll he went out there and gave us everything he had. Boy, he left he left everything he had on the field this weekend. And and uh, I'm I'm really proud of these guys. I. Uh, you know, like I said, losing losing your number one guy five or six weeks from the end of the season, and having to jumble your pitching, and guys have to, to 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 change roles, and guys that have been comfortable in the bullpen having to do you know midweek starts, and you know it was it was it was challenging, but um, and we didn't play well in our conference tournament. But as I told you, I thought if we could get through the tournament and get the NCAA bid, which I felt we were pretty safe on that, 
that uh, he would give us a little extra week or an extra week there to, to maybe get some guys healthy. And, uh, and even though we were beat up this weekend, our guys played, I thought, really well for, uh, for being hurt and, and, and not having Schluter out there, your number one guy to go opening day. Anything else for Coach Dunn?